Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a good day. I'm here to do the luxury items I couldn't live without tag. I'm really, really late to the party on this one. Um, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, Eva in the City created this tag and a few of my friends that did this video tagged me. So I'm doing the tag as requested. I found it really fun. I found it really difficult to choose a couple of the things. So I might mention some um, other products that were in the running for each choice. And I will just tell you what it is about each product that means I couldn't live without it. And obviously I don't mean it literally. I would just be sad not to have it. And I've picked these things because they are irreplaceable to me. Like there isn't something else that's similar that I like as much, if that makes sense. And um, one of them, well, the first one, I actually didn't have it for a bit. And then I repurchased it to have it again, which kind of proves the theory that I didn't want to live without it. And I just need to preface this by saying, obviously, we can all live without these things. They're the icing on the cake. And you're already a very fortunate person if you have the disposable income to buy luxury goods whatsoever. And I'm very aware of that. And I'm very grateful for everything I have. And obviously, there are other things which are luxuries um, that are more important. And just by taking part in this doesn't mean I don't acknowledge that. You know, I have the luxury. I have freedom as a woman. I can vote. I have access to healthcare, decent housing. I have a brand new car um i get to travel and go on holiday because my husband works really hard i'm i have it's definitely a luxury that i'm a stay-at-home mum and i don't have to go back to work i just like we all work as a team in this family and we are very fortunate and privileged um that we can afford for me to stay at home and look after my uh kids so i just wanted to sort of acknowledge that that those things are real luxuries and this stuff is just beautifully made things by certain designers so let's move on. So there are five categories. Sorry, the table's really wobbly. So every time I put my hand down, it, the phone judders. Um, so yeah, I am gonna get started. Um, there are five categories and then an extra miscellaneous one. So the first category is the bag. So my choice for that would be my Chanel Jumbo. And the reason I couldn't live without this bag is because it's beautifully made. It's iconic and I wished and wanted one of these for many years before I actually got one and it didn't disappoint. I had a single flap, I used that for years and years. I then kind of sold that one on to get this one and in the gap between having two jumbos, I had a lambskin one which I didn't really enjoy and the single flap in this version and I sold those and it was about six weeks till I could get to the shops to get another one and I really, really missed it. To me, it's really practical. I love the feel of the chain, the length of it. I love the size. I love how it feels solid. Um, I don't find it too boxy. I don't find it too showy or formal in this combo, in this size. And um, although I really love my medium one, the new one that I got around Christmas time, I picked this just because it's such a staple that can take me to almost any situation. I throw this in my car with me. I don't particularly baby it. Um, it holds a ton. It is heavy if you really stuff it. So I tend to pack strategically so it's not too heavy. Um, I find it looks fine with like track suits and, and Ugg boots. It looks fine with a really smart outfit. The only thing it's not okay for for me is if I was going to like a really, really formal event like um, an event at my daughter's school or a wedding, I would probably choose something a little bit more delicate and not as big, but I absolutely love this. And yeah, I couldn't live without it. I wouldn't want to live without it. I will always have this in my collection. The next um, item was SLG and mine is my key holder. Mine is in black epi leather from Louis Vuitton and um, it's the four, it's the smaller one. Um, I just wanted the smallest one possible because my new car fob doesn't fit even in a six. So I thought, why not just get a smaller one and take up less space because I'm only ever gonna need two keys. I have loads of other keys for my business, but I don't take them out and about with me. I just take them if I need them um, to go to another property. So on the whole, this is all I'm carrying. And um, I love the feel of the leather. I love that it's got no glazing because it's just stitched and I really enjoy the sleekness of this very simple design from Louis Vuitton instead of having just always patterned kind of canvas accessories. Um, I would really like to get a card holder or something else in this black epi because I absolutely love it. Um, and there you have it, my four key holder from Louis Vuitton. Um, another close contender was a flat card 
holder I have a red one from Chanel and for years I always thought which is what I used to think about key holders like why would anyone want that that's like a stupid item and actually I really enjoy using a really small card holder and just putting like the cards that are essential and a little bit of cash and then I have a coin purse and I can use that in a big bag I can use it in a small bag even a wok I can use that combination um so yeah I I was going to pick that, but I use this every single day, so I just had to pick this one. The next category was shoes, and that was really easy. Um, it's the Chanel Ballet Flats. It's not necessarily this pair, although I think these are my favourite ones. Um, I've got three pairs now, but as a style of shoe, they just really work for me because I don't really wear heels, and um, if I want to wear a smart shoe and feel nice, I will often wear these. I also... Um, if I do wear a skirt or a dress, it's usually fairly short because it, I think it makes my legs look longer and stuff. And um, I wouldn't want to wear generally a skirt above the knee with a heel. On me, I think it looks too much. So I would like to wear a smart flat shoe if I'm going to wear a, like a skater style like dress or something. Um, but they go with ripped jeans. They go with like a blazer and trousers. Excuse me, there's something coming through the door and the dog is going to go mental. It's okay. So yeah, I need to do something about getting the, the heels protected because I've worn these a few times because I couldn't wait when I got them in the summer and I really need to sort that out before I start wearing them this spring. They're comfy and they come in so many colours and different leather finishes and stuff. They are expensive but they're about the same price as the espadrilles and to me they probably would last longer because they have a proper sole that you can um, repair and stuff like that and they're just so kind of smart, casual and for someone who doesn't like heels, these are my smart shoes in general and I'd rather just get like one pair of these every two years and build up my collection than buy loads of like high street ones that fall apart and aren't as special. So I do have another couple of pairs like Sam Edelman ones that I really like. Um, I would maybe like a pair of Teaks at some point because they're supposed to be super comfy too but for, for special I just love these. Okay. So the next category was, was it jewellery first? It doesn't matter, I guess. And then a makeup or um, fragrance. So we'll do the jewellery one. And that was an absolute no brainer for me. I have various pieces of jewellery that I really like. As I'm getting older, I buy a lot less fashion jewellery and I tend to um, save up and get myself pieces of real silver from Tiffany and things like that. Or for gifts, my husband buys me jewellery. but. Um, there's one thing that I just um, really couldn't live without and that is my Rolex watch. Mine is in the two-tone and uh, it's gold and stainless steel. It's the medium size one so it's not the kind of gentleman size one but it's not the really slim ladies one either because that's just too small for me. Um, oh the glare, sorry. There you go. This is about five years old now. Um, I have a year ago put it in to be all, it was all polished and um, there's some scratches on it that need a bit of attention actually. Um, you know, they take it apart, they re they make sure that the movement's working really well, they clean it, they strip it right down, build it back up again. And you do pay about 400 pounds for that, but you only need to do it every four or five years. I'm somebody who, um, I'm not really somebody who would want a new one all the time. As I've had some, when I've had something for a while, I get kind of attached to it. So if I were to get another watch, I probably wouldn't trade this in. I probably would just add another watch to my collection and then and keep this one because I'm really, really fond of it. And um, my husband got it for me and it's just part of my daily attire. Um, I need a sip of drink, excuse me. Iced coffee with sweet and low. I'm trying to cut out the calories of like too much milk. <clears throat> okay, so the makeup and fragrance one was the hardest one for me because um, <clears throat> I have a lot of it and it's really hard to isolate what my favourite was. So when I looked at the makeup situation, I have a lot of products, you see them in hauls and in favourites that I really enjoy using and that I kind of, some things I rely on, I was thinking about my beauty blender, that's definitely indispensable to me because I can achieve a nice look on my skin where sometimes I really can't with a brush um, and other things like that. But as individual things, they weren't really luxuries. So um, I thought, okay, put the makeup aside and go with fragrance because fragrance really is a luxury. It's just there for pleasure for you, for you to enjoy the scent. And um, last year was 
when I got really interested in perfume and learning about like trying to identify again down to Eva partly who created this tag trying to identify what it is I really enjoy and what I don't enjoy and also just trying to try some things that are a bit different for me and I found two or three fragrance I found a few that I got but I found two or three fragrances last year that I absolutely love and the only reason I've chosen this one is because it's got the broadest appeal and by that I mean I like it in the winter and in the summer I like it for day I like it for evening um, some close seconds were um, Jo loves um, there's a couple that she makes that I are absolutely beautiful and I really enjoy and then I also found um, Creed green Irish tweed and I am obsessed with that fragrance however um, I find it a little bit more spring summer and light and fresh this one is more universal and that's why I've chosen um, Jersey by Chanel it's one of the exclusives ones this is the smaller size and this is the EDT before they um, made them all eau de parfum across the board um, I just love this it's a very soft scent to me there's a lot of lavender in here and a kind of a cashmere blanket softness coziness but it is fresh if you wear it in the summer too um, it has amazing staying power on me which I can't say for that many fragrances um, I love the design of the bottle it's just so simple and utilitarian um, I love it's got this like magnet lid I just love this fragrance and I love that it's the exclusives because my goodness you know they Chanel makes some pretty fragrances but if you walk around anywhere where I live in Bristol I will smell Coco Mamselle like 10 times a day and things like that and this is just a little bit less um, usual or common so it feels quite unique to me and whenever I wear this I get comments um, it's just delicious and you know what like when I sometimes get have a bath at night and I spray a little bit on my robe it's just a lovely sleepy peaceful scent and then the last thing I want to say about this is some of my other Chanel fragrances I only really enjoy the fragrance maybe after the first hour and they can be a bit jarring or almost make me feel a bit headachey when I first spray them this I like from the get-go and the scent remains pretty consistent it doesn't go through that much change it doesn't need to soften because it's soft in the first place whereas my cocoa ones I've got two cocoa ones um, my number five things like that I sometimes feel like I need a little while for them to just for the top hard and harsher notes to like dissipate and then I really enjoy them but I enjoy this straight away so I will never want to be without Chanel jersey in my life okay and then there was a miscellaneous category at the end and my first and obvious thought along with quite a lot of other people was my shawls and scarves but then I thought I could live without them because um, I mean it's meant to be things you can't live without I could live without them because they're not I could just have high street shawls and I would be as warm and there are so many nice pretty ones around that although I really love them they are really luxuries and they're not something I couldn't live without if that makes sense um, so I thought actually it was a toss up between my new iPhone 7 that I'm completely in love with and that keeps me in touch with the world so obviously a phone is like really important and it is a luxury this one that I'm talking to you on now is definitely a luxury because my other phone broke but it was out of the manufacturer's warranty and and they all they would do is give me um, an old reconditioned phone and stuff like that and we just I really wanted the bigger one my husband and daughter have the bigger one and I really regretted not getting the plus so we had to buy me out of my old Vodafone contract and give them about 400 pounds to get out of that contract because it had like nine months to run and then pay quite a lot to get this model and so that is definitely a luxury and my husband treated me so thank you very much to him um, so that's a real luxury but then I thought my ultimate other luxury thing that I've got recently is my car now obviously any car is like essential to get around um, you don't have to have a brand new car but it, it, it feels luxurious to me it's not a super luxurious car by general standards but it is to me I'm really lucky in that when I learned to drive about four four and a half years ago uh, my husband got me a very basic small but a brand new car and then I traded that in after two years and got another car with the same manufacturer and then I've traded in and now got this one this is a Fiat I have got a small clip of it that I'm going to insert at the end of the video and excuse the dirty wall that I really need to pressure wash 
because it's just manky from the winter and also the traffic noise like it was it's really busy at this time of morning um but i love my car i managed i picked everything about it that i liked i love the feeling of it being a little bit bigger it's the first time that i've not had like a really small car i'm it's got quite a nice high um um driving position because it's an sdv so it's given me more confidence with my driving um it, the comfort level and everything so every time i have to go out in the car which is several times a day usually I'm just really, I pinch myself and I think how lucky I am to have that lovely car. So that's what I picked for my extra. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm coming straight back at you in a minute with a, I'm looking up at the bag, with a collective beauty haul. It's stuff that I've bought over the last two or three weeks. It is quite a lot, but I, as usual, ran out of loads of key things all at once. So I had to do a lot of replenishing and then there's a couple of new things that I want to try in there and I just thought you'd like to see. So I will um, go and get that stuff and make that video for you and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna upload first but I have decided to upload twice a week and there's gonna be one video that is kind of beauty related as a guide, it's not like hard and fast, um, and one that's more um, accessories and stuff um, led and then I've got some kind of nice little lifestyle things coming up like it's basically Seville orange season which is a very narrow season so I'm going to make Seville bitter orange marmalade today and I might try to vlog that for you guys um, and some cooking stuff some home stuff um, some maybe some you know as we move into spring start doing some fashion hauls I'm just really re-enthusiastic really and after the whole, I had a really busy Christmas and New Year and just couldn't, and then I had some health stuff, so I just couldn't really film and my phone was broken. I'm kind of back with a vengeance, so you'll be sick of the sight of me, I'm sure, soon. So I will be uploading this today and then you'll get another video towards the weekend and I hope that you enjoy and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys. So this is my new car. It's the Fiat 500X in the cross plus so it's like styled on the original fiat 500 but it's a lot chunkier and i had it tripped out with lots of extra bits and bobs and i just really enjoy having this car guys so that is my miscellaneous thing that i could live without